It's been often said that the Lord Jesus both comforts the afflicted and afflicts the comfortable. And there is a whole category of sayings of the Lord Jesus in the scripture that are referred to as hard sayings. This comes from John's Gospel, chapter 6, after the Lord Jesus had explained that unless you ate his flesh and drank his blood, you did not have any fellowship with him. And many of his disciples, we read, when they heard this said, this is a hard saying, who can hear it? There's a great story in one of Charles Spurgeon's books on Bible illustrations in which he tells about a man who was contacted by a farmer friend. And the farmer said, uh, I'd love you to come over and pick up some apples. They're ripe and ready to be picked up. And he demurred. And the farmer said, no, I, I don't want to sell them to you. I, I've got them ready. Just come on by and get them. And uh, the man was very reticent and said, well, really, he'd rather not. And the farmer said, what is the problem? I just want to give these apples to you. And the man said, well, actually, it's quite embarrassing. He said, you know, uh, I was going on a trip recently, and I was going by your farm, and I didn't think you'd mind, and I climbed over the fence, and I picked a few apples to take on my journey. And they were the sourest apples I ever tasted in my life. And the farmer laughed uproariously, and he said, you know, I went 60 miles to find those apple trees. And I put two rows of them around the outside of my orchard so anyone sneaking in to steal apples wouldn't come back. He said, go on in deeper. There are lots of sweet apples in there. And Spurgeon explained that God has put two rows of hard sayings and commands and, and onerous obligations around the outside of his orchard to keep out hypocrites and half-hearted people. He said, go on in deeper. There's sweet fruit in there. And that certainly is true, isn't it? That those of us who have come to know the Lord, we've concluded that his commandments are not grievous. His yoke is easy and his burden is light. The Lord Jesus is not a tyrant and he loves to bless us. Let's not be fooled by some of these hard sayings because as we study them further, we discover what the Lord Jesus said in verse 63. The words that I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life.